hello everyone this is chimbi from Monty creations and welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making this beautiful two-tone bikini uh, but before i go on if you're new here subscribe turn on post notifications so you know when i post new videos the stitch i'm going to use is a double crochet and you're going to need some yarn I'm using um, L stretch, so you can use any stretch yarn um, and a 3.5 millimeter hook, a darning needle and a tape. I have a free written pattern, the link is in the description box below, where you're going to find sizing from extra small to extra large. I'm going to start by making the cup. I've already made the one in yellow and I'm going to make another one in my second color which for this I'm using a purple. It's a beautiful purple. So I'm going to start by making a slip knot and then making a chain. The chain would differ depending on the cup size. So I'm making a AB cup, sorry, the, the yarn got tangled there, and I'm going to chain 15. So make a chain of 15. And then uh, on the third stitch from hook, work a double crochet and then work double crochets until you have one stitch left. In the very last stitch, uh, work two double crochets in the same stitch. One, two in the same stitch. And then chain two, then work two more double crochets in the same stitch. And then we're going to work on the other side of the chain uh, so we're not going back we're just going to work on the other side and work double crochets in each of the stitches make sure you have the same number of stitches on both sides so I have 13 on the one side and I'm going to work 13 on the other side And once you're done with the row, that's your first row. We're going to be working all ra around again, but on the one side only and increasing at the top and then back again. As you can see there, that's the increase part. So the second row, I'm going to chain three, turn and work double crochets to the chain space. I'm going to work double crochet in each stitch to the chain space. I'm 
and once I get to the chain space I work two double crochets in the chain space chain two and two more double crochets in the same chain space then I'm going to work on the other side of the bikini top and I'm going to work double crochets until the end of the row At the end of the row, place the double crochet in the last stitch. As you can see it's um, going. And then you're going to chain two, three, sorry. And then work uh, double crochets again. And you're going to repeat the second row, increasing at the top um, until you have your size. Uh, put the size charts in the written pattern which you can find in the link in the description box below and once you're done you cut and weave in ends then I'm going to meet you to start the uh, bikini bottom To work the bikini bottom, you're going to work the two colors at the same time. Um, so, But I'm going to start with the yellow. You can start with either one of the colors. And you're going to work a chain with both colors. The number of chains would depend on the size. So check the written pattern in the link below. So make a slip knot. And then make a chain. I'm going to make a chain of six i want seven seven on each side so i'll mix six and then join my other yarn to make the seventh stitch so pick up your second color and then make a slip knot And then pull through that's your seventh stitch of your first color and now we're going to work two three four five six stitches and then add one two three stitches that's your turning stitch that will be your seventh stitch and then in the fourth stitch from hook work a double crochet that's your second stitch two three four five six and then the seventh stitch will change the color so how you do it is you start with your yarn over just counting yarn over insert your hook yarn over and pull through yarn over and pull through two once you have two loops on the hook that are left Pick up your color one, yarn over, hey, yarn over and pull through two, right. And then work seven stitches until the end of the row. So one, two, 
two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. That's your last stage. So in total, you have 14 stages to begin with. You need to have an even number of stitches. That's the number that is divisible by two. And then your second row, you're going to chain three. And then work double crochets across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the seventh stage, you change your yarn. There you go. Change your yarn. And then work and insert through the hanging yarn in the first stitch of the second color. This is the front of your, the bottom part of your bikini, bikini bottom. This is the front part. that's how it's gonna look like and then from here we're going to start increasing so we're going to increase until we get the rise for the front so one two three the number of rise you need for each size is in the written pattern in the link below so you're going to double crochet in the same chain stitch that's an increase then double crochet in the next stitch that's your third stitch and then double crochet in the next stitch that's your fourth stitch your fifth stitch six seven and when you get to the chain with the yarn meet you're gonna change and then once again when you work work the hanging yarn and then through the chain so that your work looks neat and then continue until the end of the row and I'm going to show you how to increase at the end of the row. At the end of the row, you're going to double crochet twice in the last stitch. So you're basically increasing at the beginning and increasing at the end so double crochet twice in the last stitch and then chain three so continue increasing at the beginning and decreasing at the increasing at the end so double crochet in the same chain stitch and then double crochet to the center
and at the end of the row you double crochet twice in the last stitch you can see it's now growing in width and I'm just going to continue until I get the rise so I've, I have a written pattern it's free you can find in the description uh, box below there's a link and you can just check the different risers uh, for the different sizes so just continue until you get the the rise and I'll see you at the end Here I'm just checking if I've reached my rise. My rise is 8 inches. So I'm not there yet, but I've reached my rise. However, I've um, reached the um, width that I want for my bikini. But I don't have the rise, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a few or uh, one or two more rows so that I get the rise. But this row I'm not going to um, increase, so I'm going to double crochet in the first stitch and work to the center to change the yarn and then work with the second color to the end of the row I'm now at the end of my row. I'm just finishing. As I said, this row I'm not going to increase. Just gonna work it even, and that's it. Bear in my gauge, I should have my rise. The eight inches and eleven inches at the top. I'm done with the front part of my bikini at this point and I'm now going to start cut the yarn and work the back part. To work the back of the bikini, I'm going to join the yarn uh, at the beginning uh, on the side where I have color 2. So I'm going to join my yarn at the corner and then chain 3. And then work double crochets in all the stitches. So you're going to work 14 stitches, 7 in color 2 and then 7 in color 1. In total 14, don't forget to change your yarn at the center. And I will see you at the end of the row.
at the end I just finish with a double crochet in the last stitch and then chain three and turn the back has to be a little bit wider so we're going to start increasing on the second row of the back so double crochet in the same stitch and work across and increase at the end of the row um, using color two and you're going to work um, a increase this increase until you have um, half the number of rows of the front so whatever number of rows you have at the front you're going to increase like this uh, increasing at the beginning once and increasing at the end once for me i'm going to um, increase for until row 11 that's the middle row of my um, bikini for the other sizes please look at the written pattern it actually says how many you should increase and then chain three and turn so i'm going to work my um rows of line and i'll see you when i've worked half of my uh the back of my bikini now worked halfway across my bikini back and then i'm going to chain three from here we're going to be adding four stitches so double crochet in the same stitch that's the first increase and then in the next stitch double crochet twice so that's two double crochets that's second stitch and then work your double crochets across until you have two stitches left of color one so i'm going to see you when there are two stitches left of color one then we're going to increase again for the other side
I've now got two stitches left and I'm just going to increase in both so two double crochet in the same stitch and then two double crochet in the last stitch so that you increase one two three and we're going to um, work with the double increase until you have your back waist size please check the written pattern for your waist size and then i will see you there to just show you what to do after you get your waist size because you're increasing more stitches you're going to get your waist size faster before you get your uh, back rise so after that we're just going to work without increasing so i'll see you when i have my um waist size at the back and i'll continue increasing um four times in each row so now i have the width of my back um, i have the size of my back but I don't have the back rise because it has to be higher so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna work rows without increasing just to get to the number of rows to be exactly the same at the front so at this point I have 19 rows I'm just gonna work three more rows to get to 22 rows your number of rows at the back has to be exactly the same as the front so i'm just cross checking there to just make sure that i have the same number of rows and once you get your waist size just if you need to add more rows just add more rows but without increasing so for the next three rows I'm just going to work without increasing so three rows <laughs> I was just questioning so I'm just gonna work um, across without increasing Rem remembering to change my um, yarn at the center and once i'm done with the three rows i'm gonna cut my yarn and then start with the straps So I'm done with my rows, so exactly the same number of rows at the front and at the back. And I'm going to cut my yarn. And 
and leave some to weave in the end. To add the cords, you're going to start on the corner, uh, take two strands of yarn and make a slip knot. And pull through and then split your yarn into two. Yarn under, yarn over, pull through. Yarn under, yarn over, and pull through. And you're going to make a chain of 150 stitches. And once you're done with this corner, you're going to do the same on the other side with the same color. So join your yarn and work 150 stitches on both sides, on all the four sides. So work the same color of yarn um, in the corners. So you're going to end up with four. I'm done with my first um, strap. So I'm just going to cut and pull through to make a knot. Then I'm going to make another knot by yarning like that. And then make another one what they call a magic knot concept of a magic knot just to make sure it doesn't unravel and then you're going to make sure it's nice and tight then just make another knot to close it off at this point if you want to add beads you can do that before you make the final knot. This would actually look nice on this. Yeah, but in a bit, so it's fine. And then cut your yarn. So, as I said, do the same. Oh, and let me just work this. Um, do the same on the other corners as well. And then use the purple one to the purple corners. And then to work the straps for the cup, you're going to make three um, straps. So you're going to make one at the top and then two on the sides. All of them should be 150 um, stitches. And you're going to uh, work the same way you worked the bikini corner straps. So I'm just going to start one with you. And then I'll work the other two offline. Then I'll come back and show you how to... Um, work the straps of the bikini together
I've now worked um, the one side of my bikini, the yellow side, and I'm just going to show you how you're going to place it with the top. So you're going to lay it on the opposite side of a color and just take your side strap and loop it through the space at the corner. And that's how it's going to be. And the purple will be on the other side. And then you're going to tie um, the straps in. If you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications until next time thank you for watching